For our first algorithm, we're going to learn about the Fibonacci sequence. Here is the problem statement. Given a number n, find the first n elements of the Fibonacci sequence. But what exactly is the Fibonacci sequence? In mathematics, the Fibonacci sequence is a sequence in which each number is the sum of the two preceding ones. The first two numbers in the sequence are 0 and 1. For example, Fibonacci of 2 is 0, 1. Fibonacci of 3 is 0, 1 and 1. This is because the third number is the sum of the previous two numbers. Similarly, Fibonacci of 7 is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. You can pause the video for a minute to verify that each number is the sum of the previous two numbers. Of course, the first two numbers are 0 and 1 as I had already mentioned. Now if you have understood the problem statement, please pause the video and try to solve the problem. It is completely fine if you are unable to as failing to solve problems in this course will teach you a lot more than you expect. All right, let's solve the problem together. Head over to replit.com and create a Node.js template. You should see an index.js file where we can write our code. Let's begin by defining the function signature. Function Fibonacci parentheses curly braces. The function will have one parameter, n, which denotes how many numbers in the sequence we have to display. For example, calling the function with n equal to 2, 3 and 7 should return an array of Fibonacci sequence with the same length. Now what do we know about the sequence? We know that the first two numbers are 0 and 1. Let's create a constant called fib and initialize with an array of two numbers, 0 and 1. Next, we need to populate the remaining elements from the third element till n while satisfying the condition that every number should be the sum of the previous two numbers. To populate the remaining elements, we use a for loop that starts at index is equal to 2 since we already have elements with index is equal to 0 and index equals 1 and we iterate till we have n elements in the array. So for let i is equal to 2 i less than n i plus plus and in each iteration we populate the value at index i so fib of i by adding the previous two numbers. So fib of i minus 1 plus fib of i minus 2. So if n is equal to 3, fib of 3 would be fib of 2 plus fib of 1. Fib of 2 in turn would be fib of 1 plus fib of 0. And we already know what those values are. This for loop populates the array with the required sequence. Once the for loop exits, we return the array. So return fib. And that pretty much is our implementation of the Fibonacci sequence in JavaScript. Let's verify by running the code. We see the three arrays corresponding to each function call. Our code works as expected. What I would like you to do is take a pen and paper, trace the function execution for n is equal to 5. Write down what the value of fib array is in each iteration and that will give you a much better picture. Alright, next it's time to determine the big O of our Fibonacci function. Pause for a minute and determine the big O. You can either determine how many times each step is executed and then approximate big O like we have learned before or 
you can use sort of the thumb rule which accelerates the process. Here is a cheat sheet which can be used as a guide. You shouldn't completely rely on this, but it does help most of the time. Pause now or let's estimate the big O together in two seconds. Our function contains one for loop. From our cheat sheet, it is pretty evident that big O is linear time complexity. So big O is equal to O of n. As the value of n increases, the number of times line 4 executes also increases. Well, that completes our first algorithm in this course. Hopefully, you're able to get into the mindset of problem solving and what to expect from each video in this course. Let's take a look at our second math algorithm in the next video.